Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our artwork number eight. She's the origami paper folding art. So I told you last uh, last time that uh, we will be focusing on the paper arts uh, from the folding to the cutting and other artworks, including the paper. So what is origami? Well, origami is uh, called Oro, which is means uh, folding, plus kami, which is means paper in Japanese. And some uh, call it orikata, orisu, orimono in different regions in Japan. So how did the origami started and how did it spread? It started in China in 1st century AD. Then it went to Japan, which is very popular now, and, and they are the ones who are responsible to make the origami very popular until now in, from 6th uh, century AD. Then it traveled to Spain and Moors in 18th century AD. And until now, Japan is the most, or the, the reason why it is very popular these days. And it, it is considered as one of the best uh, artworks taught in uh, schools and in craftsmanship. Well, there is a story about origami. It's about uh, Sadako Sasaki. Sadako Sasaki is a very sick girl uh, suffering from leukemia due to radiation of, if you remember, the atomic bombing on Hiroshima in 1945. So there's a belief in, in Japan that a kami, which is uh, translated to God, if a person makes 1,000 cranes or paper cranes, origami, or it's called zenbazuru, that kami or God will grant her a wish. So Sadako Sasaki is trying to, to make 1,000 paper cranes for her to live. But unfortunately, after making 644 paper cranes and uh, after making that uh, number, she eventually died or passed away. She haven't uh, finished the 1,000 paper cranes. Her family and friends uh, decided to make all the 1,000 cranes for her honor. She buried it with all, they buried it with all the a uh, thousand cranes with the body of uh, Sadako Sasaki. And then the Japan, Japan, Japanese government has developed or has given Sadako Sasaki a statue in her memory. So that's how a tragic story of origami in Sadako Sasaki began. So this is the picture of Sadako Sasaki in 1945. Oh, and that's the statue of her uh, that was developed by the Japanese government. Well, in Japan, in Japanese festival uh, samurai, people used to give each other uh, good luck charms. And uh, one of those good luck charms is called the... Uh, origami. So they tend to fold some abalone meat or noshi or a special paper. And the Shinto people used to celebrate weddings by wrapping glasses of wine in the shape of butterfly in some social occasions. So the origami is, uh, we can say that it's part of the Japanese tradition and the, 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 the celebrations and occasions occurred in Japan. So one of the grandmaster in, in making origami, he created more than 5,000 different or, or, origami models. And that man is, is uh, Akira Yoshizawa. And she also published 18 books about origami how to make origami, diagramming, and instructions. Those are the book that was published by Akira. 
And there are types of paper origami from pure origami, business origami, action origami, and uh, the very popular is the pure origami that includes paper cranes and other uh, animals that was shaped uh, by uh, the artist using the paper folding. We also have candy wrapping origami and uh, tissue paper origami. Sample of that are roses, dollar bill origami or the the bills uh, shape and other fun uh, shapes. No? Modular origami, it is used in vase. If you remember during your elementary days or high school days, you were tasked to do this modular origami. Tea bag folding, uh, fabric origami used to design uh, houses. Then we have quilling that includes uh, paper cutting also. And origami is structure that also includes paper cutting. It's a mix of paper cutting and folding. That's why it's a expert level of creativity. And kirigami. Then we have here a sample of step-by-step -step process of making a crane origami. If uh, you wanted to practice your, your origami art, you can screenshot this one and practice find a 4x4 four four or 8x8 eight eight, uh, sized paper. Then follow these simple steps. And then you will create a uh, crane just for a practice. I have here a video of um, how to make other origami models. The Lutus origami. So in this video, this is uh, it will be shown how to, to make step-by-step -step processed origami. Lotus origami. I think the artist is using uh, six by six size paper, equal sides of six inches. So for our artwork uh, number eight, you can either uh, choose to create any of the types of origami presented uh, earlier, or you can uh, recreate this example in the video or the, the picture that was presented, the crane. So it's up to you. You can also uh, create uh, the other examples that was presented a while ago.
and that's it. We have white uh, lotus origami paper folding art. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you learned something today. Please do a picture of your artwork once done and send it to the LMS.